Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic, and this is another episode of Road to Dune. So there is some interesting Dune news that came out the last couple days that I want to talk about in this video, and it's concerning release dates. Uh, so the last uh, couple videos I did about Dune, it kind of got swept up in this controversy about all the lineup of Warner movies going directly to HBO Max this year and then releasing simultaneously with their theatrical runs the same month on HBO Max in the United States. Now, that's in the United States, not outside anywhere else. And so anyway, there was a... Uh, Denis Villeneuve wrote an article about this, uh, and a lot of, you know, other filmmakers weren't happy about this move, and Legendary wasn't happy about, happy about it because apparently Warner Brothers just did this on the fly, just did it and never consulted with anyone else. So now there's been a back and forth, I guess, been going on behind the scenes. So it looks like there has been a few compromises. So that's what this article is about. This article is from Small Screen, doomed to be released internationally in cinemas two weeks before HBO Max. It seems like Dune will be released in cinemas internationally two weeks before its release on HBO Max, whilst the source is somewhat reputable, Box Office Pro France, it's yet to be confirmed via industry sheets. However, it's looking likely as we reported last month that Legendary and Warner Brothers pictures were in negotiations after a backlash against their plan for 2021 streaming releases. Coming out of the news today is a release date of September 15th internationally, outside of America, for Dune. This would be two weeks before it hits HBO Max and potentially other streaming platforms outside the U.S., giving cinemas a much-needed exclusive release time. Warner Brothers has already had to deal with legal action and further payouts to cast and crew as a result of losing theatrical revenue. Ever since they announced their HBO Max cinematic release strategy last year, they've been stuck in negotiations with various production companies who were blindsided by the decision. Director Christopher Nolan was particularly critical of the decision, which has led him to be looking for a new company to work for as a result of the fallout. Dune director Denis Villeneuve was also highly critical of the decision, especially for a film designed for the big screen such as Dune. He was also further put out that, like many other directors, he hadn't even been consulted about the move. Indeed, for some most involved in the production of The Slate. It was first known when they had read the news themselves. But it seems very likely internationally Warner Brothers is to make concessions in order to appease the cinema market and for a slice of the box office revenue. So that's interesting. So there's probably been negotiations concerning this going on back and forth in the background. And I kind of got mixed feelings about that going directly to HBO Max. Not that it's a bad idea, but I think doing it the same time it comes out in theaters, I don't know. I think that might be a bad move because then it's out there on the internet and people can pirate it and that might impact the, the amount of money that this movie can make. And we all know that there's a lot hinging on this one to get the full story of Dune. That if this one fails, we don't get part two. So we get half of a Doom movie, really. And uh, so this needs to get the best push forward. And I don't know how much money a movie could like make on the streaming service. And I realize that they're really stream There's like a big the streaming wars going on right now with all these companies. So people are pushing big time to uh, get their platforms going and get people in there, get them subscribed and all that. And that's like, they're just, they can't think of anything else. These companies, um, but so this is, I think this is some good news that there's some, there's some leeway there. There's some nego negotiations going on there. So if this is true, because it said in the article, this isn't 100% confirmed, this release date. And uh, so, but if this is true, this gives us some hope. And I think the best thing to do for the best of both worlds is release it in the theaters and like let it be in theaters for a month because that's when it's going to make its most money and then after the, that month is up then put it in on then put it on streaming service 
Because then all the people who watched it like a gazillion times in the theater, they'll still stream it anyway. I know I will, if I had the choice. And those who were kind of iffy, never wanted to go see it in the theaters anyway, well, then they can still stream it if they want to see it. But I think the mo the majority of fans that want to see this movie, uh, I can't speak for all of them, but I would say a lot of them would want to see this in the movie in the theaters regardless. I know I want to see this in the theaters. I don't want to see it first on my television set. This is a movie I really want to go to the theater and see. And I want to see it more than once in the theater. Uh, so interesting that uh, in interesting turn of events and this whole thing playing out with uh, Warner Brothers and these movies and everything that's going on is just crazy, crazy times. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section and I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.